guys. Happy Friday. Welcome to the Faith for Today podcast. We've been talking about being equipped uh, for battle. We've been, we've been reading from Ephesians chapter 6. I'm going to read just some of that today. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Verse 13 says, Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that you may be able to stand in the evil day, having done all to stand. Stand, therefore, having your loins girt about with truth and having on the breastplate of righteousness and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. And above all, take the shield of faith, wherefore you should be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one. So we kind of started talking about this yesterday. We said, one, in the battle of the mind, the mind is under attack. In the battle that we're in, that we're all in, the spiritual battle, the mind is under attack. We also talked about in the battle, the mind needs assurance. The mind needs assurance. We talked about some good mental health techniques, techniques about uh, having something to love, having something worthwhile to do, and having something to hope for. So I want to wrap it up talking about number three, in the battle, the mind needs to answer. How do we control our minds? Through repentance. The Greek word is metanoia. It means to have a change of mind. 2 Peter 3 says, The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long-suffering to usward, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. That's God's best. God's best is for everyone to give their heart to God. Now, that may not happen on our go-around, this first go-around, but our job is to make sure our lives are a living testimony of God's goodness. And so, uh, <clears throat> so our minds, how do we control our minds? One, we need to repent. Number two, we need to receive the word. Philippians 2 says, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ. So our minds need to receive truth. You, your mind needs to be renewed. Your mind needs information. You're not, your mind needs to be stimulated with good information. And you need to renew your mind. Romans 12 says, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good, acceptable, and perfect will of God. So your mind needs to repent. Your mind needs to receive the word. And your mind needs to be renewed with truth. And number four, in the battle... <clears throat> Let's talk about some steps to renewal. Um, the Bible talks about in, 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 in um, Philippians 4 about rejoicing in the Lord. To rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice, let your moderation be known unto all men, the Lord at hand. Praise is the great antidote for trouble. And it's so important, man. We just have a, a praise God any kind of way mentality of praise. What did, what, did, what did Jesus say? He said, count it all joy. What did his brother say in James? He says, count it all joy. Jesus said, be a good cheer. James said, count it all joy. So we, we need to understand the importance of rejoicing. Um, uh, and it says in Philippians 4, be careful for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. So in the battle, you got to rejoice in the Lord. Then you got to ask God. You got to invite God in. I believe it's so important that we just take the moment to request God in, to invite God into our situation. We just shouldn't, shouldn't assume that God knows. We shouldn't assume that God is, is just going to just come in. No, you need to invite him in. Talk to him about your situation. Talk to him about your body. Talk to him about your money. Talk to him about your future. Talk to him about your kids. Talk to him about your marital situation. If you're married, if you're not married, talk to God about it. Number, number, number three is you got to rest in God. Philippians 4, 7 says, And the peace of God which passes all understanding shall keep or guard your heart and minds through Christ Jesus. Let God's peace guard or protect your mind. Reflect on his goodness. Philippians 4, 8 says, Brethren, uh, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are good report, if there be any virtue or any power, if there be any praise, think, meditate on this thing. What am I saying? Think good thoughts. Use the word of God to overcome any and all evil thoughts. And number, the last one, I believe, is just to relax. Just to relax in the Lord. Philippians 10, Philippians 4.10 says it like this. He says, um, 
It says, but I rejoice in the Lord greatly that now at the last of your care of me has flourished again, wherein you were also careful, uh, but you lacked opportunity. Not that I speak in respect of want, but I have learned in whatever state I am, therefore to be content. I know both how to be abased and I know both how to abound everywhere in all things. I am instructed both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. Uh, we know verse 13 says what? I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And I believe that means to get our rest, to get it done in the, in the, in the, in the minimal amount of time that needed, that's needed to work smarter, not harder. You know, God has promised to supply our needs. So let's not worry about the finances. Let's not worry about that situation or that circumstance. Let's give those things to God because faith thanks God and receives from him all that we need. Let's just thank God for today. Let's release our faith regarding our needs, regarding our concerns, regarding every situation, anything trying to keep us up at night. Let's release our faith for the victory, for the harvest. In Jesus' name, we'll see you guys on Monday. Enjoy your weekend.